So I am en route to track down a $250 foundation from Clay to Poe. You guys know that I have had hit and miss trouble with Clay to Poe. I tried an eyeshadow palette last year that was a disaster. I'll link that video below. But I also have loved their foundations in the past, their concealer, and you know what? I'm ready for another round of playtime with really expensive foundation. So this one is crazy, it's $250, and I'm headed to pick out a shade in person because it was just a little bit too risky to go off of you know the swatches online. So I thought I'd take you with me and we'd take a peek at the very fancy counter and try it out and go from there. It kind of looks like an antique doorknob. You guys are in for a treat. And I hear good things about it, so... Actually, it better be good for 250 bucks, dude. No, no. Amazing. Oh, you guys, it's Desi sunglasses. That's so cool to see her name here in Nordstrom. We actually got a pair of these in Fiji in our room, and I would have worn them and supported, but I look like such a douchebag in them. I hate it. I have like a short little nose, so I can't do the cool like wear it on the tip of your nose thing. Just wait for it. They look good on most people, and I think they look amazing on her, of course, but. Wilson, it's not working. It's not working for me. Is it kind of working? No. <laughs> Why don't I look good in this? What's wrong with my head? I don't know. You've got a really big head, but 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 big sunglasses don't look good on your face. <laughs> no, most guys. Something that you don't understand about Tati is hats do not fit her. She has a really big head. I have a large brain. I have a large brain, James. I'm smart. I have a large in here. Whatever. The weird thing is, is her head looks little. I'm shade matching you guys because I'm not screwing this up. It's $250. All well, you guys said yesterday's foundation was too light. I hear you. I see you. I'm not going to screw that up again. We are back in the beauty room and I am about to play with this really crazy product. Um, everybody, by the way, inside of Nordstrom that kind of came by the counter and was chatting and um, while I was being rung up, they're like, oh, you're getting that? Oh, it's amazing. Everybody says such good things about it, which kind of had me standing there like, <laughs> because it's a $250 foundation. To me, I don't know how much better it can be than other foundations that I have, even like expensive ones. Like my La Mer is, you know, it's a fraction of the price. It's only like $100, which somehow next to 250 makes it feel like what a bargain. Like we all should sign up for that, but that one's crazy expensive too. So I don't know what more it could possibly do to warrant the crazy price tag, but we're going to find out. Everybody has good things to say about this. I actually saw Jeffrey in real life when he was trying this product out and his skin looked beautiful and it only made me even more curious to try it on my own skin. So let's just open her up and take a closer look. It comes with like a display. What in the heck is that? I'm dropping things. You guys, spatula. It kind of seems like there should be more in here. So this is what the jar looks like. It looks very antique. The lid itself is really beautiful. I'm hypnotizing you. This is not $250. Yes, it is. This comes in 12 shades of all pretty pale. Their shade range is definitely lacking. I noticed that when I was going up to the counter. This is gonna be geared toward not even just medium skin tones, but if you have very, very pale skin, I think you are gonna be able to find your shade, but if you have medium to deep, you're out of luck with this one because the shade range is just so limited. Now this foundation does say that it has skincare ingredients in it. It says it's going to be lightweight, it contains 
the Radiance Boosting Exclusive Illuminating Complex EX. I think that's their kind of clay to poe thing that they put in their product to make your skin go ooh ah wow. You know, La Mer has their miracle broth, so this is infused with good skincare. Thank God for the price tag. It should have stuff in there that does good things to your skin. And this is said to give you a luminous medium coverage. It is buildable. And we're just going to stop talking about it and just apply it. I did have a bit of an issue um, selecting the correct shade. You can see this looks a little bit darker, but the shade that was one step lighter, I put it kind of on my shoulder, on here, on my face, like I'm trying to get a uniform look here, and it was just way, way too light. And after everybody chiming in in yesterday's video saying that my foundation was way too light, which it was a little bit light, it wasn't super crazy, but it was a little bit light, I decided to go just a little bit deeper with the foundation. So here's hoping it doesn't oxidize and that it actually looks good. I don't wanna waste what's on the lid, is that weird? I'm gonna actually like pick up from the plastic thing. It feels very luxurious in this jar, even though I personally can't stand foundations in a jar because I feel like you dip your fingers in there or a brush and it gets dirty. It does direct you to use the spatula, but honestly, who's gonna every day be like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the world's most bougie foundation. It has its own freaking stand. Okay, so you do have a place for your little like, what? That's so extra and over the top. It does look really pretty though, right? I can't deny that. It looks really very nice. Okay, so now we are going to apply the product and I, I'm not joking. I am gonna be that girl that scoops the product off of the plastic, so. I'm just going to dot my face. Ooh, this looks dark. Ugh, I can't win right now. Mmm, that smells expensive. It actually smells like a really like luxurious perfume. I'm not joking. It smells really good. All right, so this shade is a little bit orangey. I'm really hoping that it does not oxidize. It's not super orange, but I think that it's going to translate that way on camera. I just have a feeling. Sometimes things do look different in real life, I promise you guys. Um, this is the shade 040. Because this is so moisturizing, I didn't want to go overboard. Over <laughs> because this is so moisturizing, I didn't want to go overboard with the uh, moisturization in any primers. So I did just use my double tin sore today, and then I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick just in the T zone to minimize pores. But this has definitely a moisturizer feel. It's giving decent coverage. I'm actually pretty impressed with the coverage. I thought it would be a lot lighter. A lot of people will leave comments and they're like, Tati's such an idiot. Why is she hoping that she hates a product that she just dumped that much money on? And if you stop and think about that for a second and go, you're absolutely right. But you know, I do try makeup out to review. I don't think that I need to be trying a new foundation every week. That's just not realistic, but this is a review channel. And you know, a lot of times I personally believe the higher priced items are all hype. I just don't think it's necessary, but once in a blue moon, you do come across a product that is just magic and works really well and is deserving of that high ticket because it stands out from the rest. So no, I don't hope that I hate products that I purchase with my own money, but at the same time, you know, there is a part of me that wants it to be the same as other foundations to be like, haha, see, like, we don't need that price tag. Does that make sense? Oh, this is good though. Do you know what this is like? This is reminding me of the Sublimage from Chanel that I love so much, but this is such a sheer tint. It almost looks just like your skin, just somehow more uniform, where you still see imperfections. And this one is giving that same glow, feel, and finish, but it is giving more coverage, which is really, really cool. My skin looks like my skin, but flawless. I'm gonna go in and just do a little like layer number two on my problem areas. I got problems. So it definitely will build. I don't know that you wanna be building it that much because of the finish. It's just a little bit too moisturizing to really wanna put layer upon layer, but you can get a almost medium type of a coverage out of this product. It's not gonna be anywhere near full coverage, but it is a really nice evening finish. 
and I love how it blended and also I just love how it feels. It just feels really light and not makeup-y on the skin. I just feel like very fresh and I like the way it feels. So right now I'm excited about this product and of course I'm gonna finish up my makeup and we will resume check-ins and see how long this whole thing wears and if it oxidizes and does anything weird. All right, I'll be right back. You guys, I am about to throw a clay de po fit because oh, I really like it. I like this foundation. It feels really nice. I think that's the number one thing that I'm noticing is I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup even though clearly I have powdered, bronzed, highlighted, blushed. Like I'm wearing all of the layers that I normally do, but everything is looking really natural somehow, but still very uniform. The only drawback right now that I can think of is I don't love that it comes in a jar and I don't love the crappy shade selection. Those are the two things um, that I don't like aside from the price tag, of course. But beyond that, it just, oh, I'm having a good makeup day. I really like it. I feel also like my skin is very firm. Like I just feel like it's moisturized. It's not dry feeling and it feels just balanced and firm and good and like I'm having a good skin day, even though I have been on airplanes and traveling and to me, when I look in the mirror without makeup on right now, my skin is kind of crappy. That is where we are at. I'm gonna do some check-ins, so I will see you guys in just a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now, you guys. So this is what we are looking at as far as packages that have built up over the last week-ish or so. Um, I'm thinking of doing an unboxing and it will probably go up on Friday. What's this? A caboodle. So this is what it looks like in natural light so that you guys can have a better idea. Oh, it's just really pretty and it doesn't feel heavy. That's my favorite thing about it. It's my favorite thing. It doesn't look heavy, does it? I think your makeup looks beautiful today. Thank you. I especially like your eye makeup. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, honey. Huh? You have. Yeah! <laughs> guys, I tried a new lipstick today also failure constant battle of my life this dog hates grass what dog hates grass come on let's go let's go to the bathroom come on. come on let's do it go you can do it he hates grass why because there's pee there <laughs> he doesn't like standing in pee Right, you guys it has been a full day of wear and it is now dark outside i am ready to wash my face and call it quits on the makeup but this has held up surprisingly well i'm a little bit shiny here i'm creasing a little bit here which i almost always do so i'm not gonna really dock any points there i think this is a beautiful product but you know would i recommend spending 250 dollars on this probably not if you have cash to burn and you want a beautiful product infused with skincare that feels light on the skin and looks beautiful then yeah go for it but if you are saving up for it i don't think it's really worth it go for something else uh yeah because there are so many foundation options out there you don't have to feel like you have to spend this much money to have a good skin day or foundation day so i'm gonna leave it at that but i am surprised that i did get good coverage good wear time nothing oxidized nothing moved and i didn't have to really touch up throughout the day so i'm kind of loving it i really am um and i'm not gonna hate on a product just because of the price, you know, I'm gonna judge the product by the product. So I've said what I had to say. What do you guys think of this makeup? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.